Before this video starts, it is a rant video, so there is going to be a lot of swearing in it. There is a lot of swearing in it, and if you don't like swearing, please click out of the video now and go watch some, some one of my other videos. I hope you enjoy the video. If you hear any wind in the background, it's, I'm sorry because it's hot and I have my fan on. So, I'm really recording this, I'm not going to be as vocal and as aggressive as I was when I first recorded it. When I first recorded it, I was in a park, right outside a train station, right next to a major road in Sydney. So there was a lot of noises in the background and wind and everything. So I'm going to re-record this without wind and everything. But basically, I got on a train, right? And I sit down, I walk through the carriage, I find a seat. And it's one of the single seats in the corner. I might put a picture on of the seat that I'm talking about, if I can find the picture. But basically, we, there was a single seat in the corner, and so I sat in it. And there was a guy that was sitting two seats over, like there was one seat between us, and he was facing me. He, the seat was turned around, so it was facing me. And I'm just sitting here, minding my own business with my shitty Turtle Beach headset that has a mic on it. Right? I was out in public with a headset that has a mic on it. The mic was up and everything like normal. And just sitting there listening to my music, my name, my own business. I see this guy put his phone right up close to his chest and have it pointing at me. And look down and he tapped the bottom. I think he took a fucking photo of me. And like I'm sitting there. He's taking a photo of me. And I look away for a second while he does it. And then I look back and I just stare at him. Like, for the rest of the time he's on the train, I stared at him, straight in the face. I was getting messages on my phone, just ignored them. I just stared directly at that motherfucker. Like, you're gonna take a photo of me? I'm gonna make you feel as uncomfortable as I possibly can. Should've went up and farted on him. But now, I... I couldn't be fucked making a confrontation right there, being like, Bitch, did you just take a photo of me? And I'm making proof it and everything, like... I, I was in a different mood. I didn't want to fuck around and do all that shit. I just wanted to do my own thing, relax, and this, that happened. So while I'm relaxing, headed home on the train, that happened. So it wasn't fun. So I made his stay not fun. Fucking stared at him and let him know, yeah, I fucking saw you do that. Yeah. And I've just stared at him, shaking my head at him. So. After that guy gets off, like he goes up the stairs, I turn around and I look at him up the stairs. I just keep staring at him until he gets off. So, after making him as uncomfortable as possible by staring at him repeatedly, like the entire time he was on the train, he gets off. The same stop, or maybe the next stop, two ladies get on. They weren't, Engl like they weren't speaking English, they were speaking their own language. They sit in the same seat he sat in. And they were as loud as they possibly could. Like, loud. I just pressed the mic button, the mute button on my mic when I was trying to uh, pull it closer to my mouth. But basically, they were loud as fuck. Like, the loudest they could possibly be. They probably could have gone louder, but they were really, really loud. And so, I sat there, just like, are you going to shut the fuck up and actually talk normally? Instead of being as loud as possible. You know you know those people. You know them. They they sp speak in their own language. And then they laugh as loud as they possibly can. Like, motherfuckers, you can't understand what we're saying. But we're going to laugh as loud as we poss possibly can. Just to make you wonder what the fuck we're talking about. Just to make you paranoid. Make me, make you think. We're talking about something funny. And you want to know. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it just to piss you off like that. Alright, that's what they're doing. And that was the weirdest ass voice, and I lost my words halfway through talking that. Saying that. The brain, not fucking. But yeah, talking as loud as they could. Make, laughing, making jokes, I guess. And one of them literally draw, moves her bag out of the way and draws a circle on her leg while she's talking. Like, as like an action for something. No idea what she's on about, like she was describing something, I guess. But... When she moved her bag, she had these t short ass orange pants on, like shorts, orange shorts, that were 
way too... The, the, it was disgusting. They were both, like, over 40, I think. And they're... Just, they're fucking crap. It was just disgusting, and I didn't want to look, and I... There was nothing else to do. I looked out the window for half the time. Oh, and with the guy that I made him uncomfortable, he was literally just staring out the window, making all attempts to avoid contact. He looked down at his phone when he got a message, and he'd, like, shift in his seat repeatedly. So, I knew he was being... He was getting made uncomfortable because of the staring, because he took a photo of me. So... Oh, and another reason I know he took a photo of me, he didn't put his phone up like that ever again in that entire train ride. If that's how you normally use your phone, then sure, you're going to put it up like that again. But no, he kept it down in his lap the, the rest of the time. So, motherfucker, he took a photo of me. You can't say that he did not. You know how you take a photo of somebody when you're trying to be sneaky and shit? Don't do it. Just fucking walk up to him and be like, bitch, I want to take a photo of you for this reason, can I? And they say, no, motherfucker, and punch you in the face. That's that's how shit works, right? So, those ladies, I they're still on the train. I get off. I go record the audio in the park. And I get, once I'm done with that, I walk down to the shops. I grab something to eat or get onto where all the food stuff is. Get something to eat. Come back to the bus stop. There's a woman with a fucking cat in a basket. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, because I'm Australian, you know, right? 30 degrees Celsius, there's a, a person with a cat in a basket walking around. Like, why the fuck do you carry a cat in a basket? Like, people carry cat, uh, dogs in handbags. That's, that's weird enough as is. But a cat in a straw basket in public? She ha even had a collar and a tiny-ass leash that was tied to the basket, so... The cat couldn't get anywhere at all, even if the cat wanted to. So, out in public with a f cat, in r it's really fucking hot. And I'm like, are you serious? First the picture guy, second the loud ass motherfuckers on the train, third, a person with a goddamn cat in a basket. What is this? Like, why, why is this a fucking thing? Why is this my day right now? I was having a fantastic day. I was happy. And then this shit happens. I'm like, what the fuck did I do to deserve this today? Alright? It was fucking insane. That's, that's like one of the fucking weirdest days I've ever had. And I, I, I don't understand. It's like, fucking, why is this shit happening? I understand you're talking loud and laughing loud. Like, yeah, you, you're enjoying yourself. You're having a good time. So you get loud. That's, that's what happens when you're enjoying yourself. But... Why do you have to do it on a train with a bu bunch of people or walking down the street? Like, why do you have to do this? Oh, also, why do motherfuckers have to blow their cigarette smoke in your face while they're walking? Like, you're walking one way, they're walking the other way. They blow their smoke literally right where you have to walk. Like, motherfucker, secondhand smoke is the worst thing for you. Like, worst smoking. If you're going to smoke a cigarette, smoke it. Don't fucking give me secondhand smoke and make me get cancer or some bullshit. Alright? Don't, don't do that. Like... It's fucking ridiculous. Blow it up. Not fucking at me. Or like, if they're in front of you, the cigarette's like right down next to them and it just comes up and floats up straight into your face. Or they'll blow it and it comes straight back into you. Like, bitch, blow your cigarette smoke up into the air, away from motherfuckers behind you. Don't let, make them breathe that shit. If I see the smoke, I'll hold my breath until like, for like fucking a whole minute just to make sure that I'm not going to breathe any of it. And now I'll fucking like walk completely away. I'll walk across the road to get away from them. So, this is me ranting about four things. You get four rants in one video. So, congratulations. I'm gonna end it here. See you guys in the next video.